The FA Cup final was held outside England for the first time in its 120-year history as the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff played host to the 2001 showpiece. It was also the first cup final to involve two non-British managers, with Frenchman Arsene Wenger and Gerard Houllier leading out Arsenal and Liverpool respectively. Having won the League Cup earlier in the season and with the final of the UEFA Cup still to come, Liverpool were looking to win the second leg of a potential cup treble. The commentators, Ron Atkinson and Clive Tildesley. Final check on the cast list. It's the Arsenal team that beat Leeds last weekend. Six of them have FA Cup winners' medals already, but Youngberg, Pires, Henri and Wiltor have all signed since the club last won a major trophy. There is a three-year itch that needs to be scratched this afternoon. Liverpool's six-year itch cleared with success in the Worthington Cup final here in February. Only two changes to the team that began against Birmingham that day. Danny Murphy is the surprise inclusion in midfield. Michael Owen the inevitable inclusion in attack. A new venue. A new pitch, even a new ball for the oldest cup final of them all. An historic change of scenery for this most historic of sporting occasions. And two of the genuine history makers of the English game in opposition. 30 years ago it was Arsenal who changed colours today, it's Liverpool in the gold and navy. Jumberg. This is Dixon. Ashley Cole. Here is his wide of him this time, and Cole tries to get past Murphy himself. And from here, I think Babel should just go. Heskey losing out. The error won it. Jungberg into Thierry Henry. He's got round Vestervelt. It's Henry! What a chance now. Well, He's claiming handball against Honcho at the near post. Well, I thought Honcho definitely got something on it, whether it was a hand or what. Well, no goal kick's been given. Now he was just on side. Well, Wiltor in the foreground was just on side. The only thing I can think of, Clive, is whether he was out over the line when he hit it, whether he's out of play. Just round him now. Honcho just making back in there. He hasn't got anything to go at. Ooh, came yes. off the arm. Yes. And I think it was go back. Heskey attacks the ball and got a flick on Owen, got in a shot, it came off Keo, jabbed away by Grimondi, hit by Gerard, and that wasn't too far away either. But Martin Keo made a terrific block there. Yeah, great defending. Great defending. Unusual to see Arsenal unlocked by one of their own tactics, if you like. A little head eyebrows there from uh, Heskey, the ball comes down. And this is an area as well that I feel a great block by Keon, by the way. It's like a fascinating middleweight title fight with. Two really top-class performers sparring and then trading blows, little flows of action. Wiltor hooked into Henri, tries the overhead kick. Good effort, good effort, some smart play. I think Carlos Wenger would be very happy with the way the front players are accepting the ball and keeping the ball. Let's have a look at the moment when Henri was denied by uh, on show a little earlier in the game. Now, is this uh, an intentional effort to handle the ball away by Oncho, or is it ball to hand? Two managers have had their say. Murphy takes the free kick. In towards Heskey, good save by Seaman. Herpier almost had a chance as it came back, keeps the ball in. But Seaman's reactions there were instant and vital in the Arsenal cause. It was yeah, only before he knew it. Yeah, you might wonder how uh, Heskey got in so cheaply there. I mean, it's a good delivery. He's arrived, and I think once he's got there, he should score. I mean, to be fair to Seaman, he hasn't really had to move. He was looking for one read. Solid play again by Hoopy, who read it well, and Smith, who's barely been in the game, stretching his legs and running into Patrick Vieira. He just played in a very deep position today, hasn't he? He's yep. done his job there. This is where we haven't seen him surging forward. I tell you what, Clive, I've been watching when, when Arsenal have attacked. He's actually walking upfield now. He's sensible, laying the ball off, conserving energy. But you think he's got so much power and strength that there's times when he could 
really drive himself forward when Arsenal are in wide positions. Hasn't affected a game like he can. Henri, juggling his way into space, finds Pires, back towards Thierry Henri, great chance! Festivalti just about enough! Whoa, Will Torden! Cole it was who had the final shot, which was jabbed away. What was Ashley Cole doing there? But Arsenal are denied again. Great Palmer has just gone down the uh, tunnel weather to pass a message on a bird that we'll see. Henri running at Hoopier. It'll come here for Freddie Jungberg. Keeper committed. Jungberg lifts it. And for the second time, Hoopier clears up the line. Still a chance for Henri. Turn away by Oncho this time. Uh, it was a great opportunity on two fronts there for Arsenal. And they took neither. Clever, he's chipped him, but uh, four marks there. Honcho back on uh, Hoopier, back on the line. Pires, will talk. Challenge was clean from Hopia. Oh, that wasn't uh, some of the best of its best clearance. Pires, Jungberg making the break, perfectly timed, round the goalkeeper, free Typical Arsenal goal, isn't it? Ball threaded through from Pires. Great ball for a great little diagonal run off the line. Mjolnir takes it around the keeper. Chance, possible penalty. And he manages to lift it. Good finish because there's still a guy on the line he's got to beat. He's gone round him. He carry just trying to get back and bottom, but he's finished with dead upon. I seem to see him score a hell of a lot of vital goals that time. When he dives, he makes that little diagonal run off the line. Laughing matter for Liverpool now. Hope you're 4 2 foul. Gerard. Up towards Owen. He's got beyond Keogh. It's Michael Owen. Keogh got back there and got a foot on the ball. Maybe he even picked it up. I'm not sure that you couldn't class that as a back pass, really. What it was was a terrific recovery challenge by Martin Keogh. Carragher. I need to take on Parla, but. Arsenal reinforced now in their midfield. A little bit too much so for the referee's liking, who's awarded Liverpool an indirect free kick here. And it's free kicks and so forth that Liverpool want because that's where they've looked probably their most dangerous. A couple of long throws that made really close things to happen. And I said earlier, didn't quite produce a ball, but this fella can spin a ball. Barbell and Hoopier are in there. McAllister takes. Still not clear. Barbell trying to reach it. Oh, in! One chance, one goal, one very, very special forward, and Liverpool are back in business thanks to Michael Owen. The equaliser has come with less than eight minutes to play, and Michael Owen has now scored seven times in his last four matches. I mean, they keep the ball penned in there, there's a, there's a crowd scene, there's a scuffle, nobody can get a full header on it, it's knocked out. One little chance, great body shape. And as it's dropping, you know, you automatically know that at that moment he's going to score. There is a certainty about him at present, a certainty about his future, a certainty about his fitness. It's Arsenal have the set play here. Robert Pires in towards Kano, well challenged by Heskey. Berger. Stretching his legs and getting away from Dixon and getting his shot away, I say, that is just absolutely fantastic. He has won the cup for Liverpool all by himself. Michael Owen has scored with two minutes left to play, and that is surely the end of the story. It's a good ball from Berger, he's got acres of space to hit. 
Dixon doesn't know whether to put him in. I just wonder about the goalkeeper. I just wonder about David Seaman on that one a little bit. bringing the ball away from Liverpool on the verge of another leg of this intrepid cup adventure with Robbie Fowler clear and Owen calling for it and Fowler knocks it against the body of David Seaman two chances to put Arsenal away they haven't taken either but we are deep deep into stoppage time Cardiff belongs to Liverpool again the year of the one is the year of a Millennium Cup double for Gerard again and they have a proven match winner in Michael Owen heartbreak for Arsenal the three years of famine go on for them it's a year of plenty for Liverpool a week of promise ahead of them the sort of week the greatest ever Liverpool teams used to have and this team is getting there Victory from the jaws of defeat. It was here in February that Liverpool won a breakthrough triumph. The hope then was that it would be a starter for more, and those hopes are coming true. They're up and running again. Now, Jamie Redknapp, the club captain who has been missing through injury, is going to go up with Ladies Robbie Fowler, hand in hand almost. Great touch. Sponsored by Axa. Liverpool captains are appointed to collect the silverware. That's their job. And it's becoming a regular job again. Double delight for Liverpool. Their second cup of the season is the FA Cup. And there may yet be a third. Proud moment for Mrs Redknapp. Success again for Liverpool in their 24th cup tie of the season. They are 24 not out. And they go on to Dortmund in knockout form.